guess start off, what's your reaction on where I'm going to end today, bud? Uh, well, obviously it's a dream come true, and uh, I've always wanted to play quarterback at Auburn. Um, it's a goal of mine that I've had for a long, long time, as far as I can remember, uh, all the way back to throwing the football in the backyard with my dad. It's just I wanted to play quarterback at Auburn. So um, it, it was just a, a, an awesome moment, and um, you honestly couldn't write it any better. Did you call your dad right away? Yes, sir, I've what talked to him. He, he was just proud of me. And I uh, couldn't talk to him long because I uh, had some business to take care of as far as practice and stuff. Um, but, um, yes, sir, I did tell him, and um, he was very excited. Well, you're the, you will be, will be the first true freshman to start a season opener for Auburn in, like, since 1946. How special is that, and what do you view as what made you able to do that when others haven't been able to? Right, well, um, that stat's pretty pretty special. Um, and to me, it's it's something that I was shooting for. It was a goal of mine, like I said. Um, and honestly, that stuff, it just, um, it goes to, to saying how, how good the team welcomed me in and how much they helped me get on the field is um, kind of quickly. And, um, but it's just, it was a good situation. I came in um, at, at a good situation and um, our coaches, Coach Malzahn and Coach Dillingham, they did a really good job of getting me prepared um, quickly. Is there anything you felt like you did really well in preseason? Anything in particular trying to get better at before? Again? Uh, as far as from spring to fall camp, I got a lot better. I was understanding the playbook and um, knowing what was going on at practice and, and different things like that, and knowing how Coach Malzahn called plays and um, all that stuff. But realistically, I just learned my receivers better, and throughout the summer I was able to throw to them more and more and understand timing and, and the way they, they ran and caught the, caught the ball. And everyone's different. Every receiver's unique. So um, just time helped me throughout um, spring practice and, and to fall camp. But throughout camp, um, I did a good job. I understood the offense and um, really just tried to do whatever Coach Malzahn and Coach Dillingham asked for me. Oh, uh, well, as far as my past, I think I was coached well in high school um, and as far back as I can remember um, with my dad and just stuff like that. But once I got here, Coach Malzahn, like I said, him and Coach Dillingham, um, they really got um, got started really quickly. In the spring, they put a bunch on us. And um, so really just try to get the whole offense as much as they could in um, so you could learn it quicker. And the, um, the more reps I got, the, um, the better and more comfortable I, I, I got with it. Well, how similar is this offense that you present at Auburn to what you ran at Isabel? It's, it's really similar. Obviously, the verbiage and stuff is different. Um, but a while back, my dad kind of looked at Coach Malzahn's offense, and he started, um, because it was so successful in 2013 and so forth, um, he started um, kind of taking some plays from it, just like every other um, offense did uh, from the spread. And most of the time, um, each offense, they, the, if you're a spread offense, you run similar things. Uh, you may tweak it just a little bit differently, but the overall concept is um, most of the time the same. Well, you went through most of the preseason camp without getting the throw to Will Hayes and Eli Stone in scrimmage situations. How good is it to have them back out there and they kind of get on the same page and rhythm with them? Uh, well, it, it's great. Those, um, we have some really good wide receivers, and um, when they're all healthy and, and ready to go, we could be really good. And um, so just having them back, it was more of a comfort thing. Like, hey, you got really good weapons, so just use them. And uh, my job is just to get them the ball and then l allow them their athletic ability to do the rest. Well, at this moment right now, what's your biggest strength as a quarterback? Uh, my biggest strength as a quarterback is probably just um, the – the way that I can throw and move in the pocket and run um, all at the same time. I think it's just really important nowadays for a quarterback to be mobile. And um, if they can throw and, and understand and process quickly um, and move around, then um, I think you have yourself a good quarterback. And I just try to do um, fit my, my skill set with the offense. And if I have to move around, I'll move around. If I have to sit in the pocket and make throws, I'll do that. What's your dad told you about the responsibility that comes along with being the starting quarterback? What does my dad say? What has he said about Right. Well, growing up, I mean, whether you play at Auburn or anywhere, um, growing up, he was just he taught me how um, never let the moment get too big. 
Um, you're prepared for any any moment you step into. Um, you'll only get better and better. So um, he just did a really good job of allowing me to be myself. And he um, reminded me of uh, the strengths that I had and how to use those strengths and things like that. But overall, he was just, he was always there for me. He always pushed me to be a better player. And um, he's really helped me get to where I am today. What's your relationship like with Joey? What's it been like competing with him for the last few months? Uh, Joey's a great guy. He's a great quarterback. And um, we really, um, our relationship obviously grew um, over summer, over fall camp. Uh, we were together all the time um, with workouts and on the field stuff. And so um, me and Joey, we have a good relationship. And it's tough, this kind of situation, they're always tough. Um, but Joey, he's going to um, continue to get better. I'm going to continue to get better, and we'll see where it takes us. How did he kind of handle the news when you all possibly showed up? He handled it. Um, in my opinion, about as good as you can handle it. Um, he had a really good practice today, so obviously it didn't phase him that much. Um, but like I said, Joey's a great talent, and he can um, run the ball and throw the ball just about as good as anybody. So um, we have two really good quarterbacks on Auburn, that's for sure. Your thoughts on, on getting to lead the team uh, against six teams ranked in the top 12, especially a week from next Saturday night? Uh, it's what I signed up for. I knew coming to Auburn, it, we were going to have a tough schedule every year, uh, maybe the toughest in, in the country uh, this year. Um, but the good thing is that I have a really, really good defense, a really good offensive line, and great skill players around me. So if, as long as I just do my job, um, everything else will take care of itself, and um, I can kind of depend on them a little bit. What does it mean to have a receiver like Seth Williams who can catch just about anything you throw in there? It, it's awesome. As a quarterback, that's... Um, you have to use those guys as your best friends and just use their skill set um, to your advantage. And if you can't make a perfect throw, then you, you know and understand that they can make a play. And so um, guys like Seth and, and Sal and others, um, the, the bigger guys that can um, run well as well, um, it's really, uh, really good to have them on your team. Uh, like any quarterback would say, um, uh, if you have those kind of players around you, it makes your job a whole lot easier. Uh, everything. I can get better as far as um, throwing and being accurate, um, timing with my receivers, uh, communicating with the offensive line, communicating with everybody on offense, um, leading the team and being a, the leader that um, our team needs. We have great leadership, so if I can just find my role um, as far as that, that would help. And um, really just, like I said, everything. I can be a better passer, um, understand the offense more. That's a main thing. And um, you can never understand an offense good enough. So as long as I just keep um, doing my job and keep studying film and, and talking with the coaches and, and seeing what's on their mind, I think I can get better as an overall player. How, how, hard, is it, how hard is it to, uh, to be that leader you're, you're talking about? When you're, I mean, some guys are four or five years older than you are. Right. Well, as a freshman, it, it's tough because um, if you're the, the leader of your team, if you're the quarterback, then they expect – a whole lot out of you. And so if you're not necessarily having a great day, um, you have to find ways to lead um, that will allow them to listen. And if you're not having a, a good day, then you can't really harp on them about getting um, the little things done. You kind of just have to encourage them and, and say, hey, guys, I'll, I'll fix my problems and just keep going and let's um, just try to fix it as a whole. Um, but like I said, having older guys, um, it is hard to lead because sometimes um, – you don't really have a say that they've that, – because they've been here for so so much longer than you, and you can't just come in here and kind of take over like that. But just finding little sudden ways um, to lead, if that's just a, an individual person or the whole group, whenever somebody needs a leader, just be that for them. What do you think your offense is capable of this season? Uh, I think um, however, however good we want to be, that's how good we'll be. And so however good we play – uh, however good we'll um, play together and as, as a team and um, be balanced on all cylinders. Um, we have a chance to be really good. Um, our offensive line, like I said, they're all coming back, and so that's a great thing. Whenever you have a good offensive line, generally you're pretty good on offense. Growing up as an Auburn fan, did you have a favorite Auburn football memory? Uh, so in 2010, I was able to go to the national championship game um, as a fan, and I just – Cam Newton, at the time, I was a little kid, and so he was like he was like the big thing back then. So um, just growing up watching him and guys like Nick Marshall and those guys, uh, it just really, really fueled my fire for wanting to play here and just be the next, the next guy that people look up to, the next guy that people talk about. 
and um, hopefully, like Cam, um, lead your team to a national championship and win the Heisman Trophy. How much do you watch your dad's games? Uh, well, if you can find any on YouTube, <laughs> then you're doing good. But um, I've watched some of his games, like Florida. He has a good, nice little highlight video against Florida in 94. Um, and he played out of his mind, probably his best game he ever played. So I watched that, um, and he, he we, me and him go back and forth. He kind of brags about it and stuff like that. But, um, no, I've, I've watched him a good bit. And um, when I was little, I watched him more because uh, they used to have VHS, and we had the tape and the highlight video and all that stuff. So, um, But now that um, I've grown up, I've, I've continued to watch him, but not as much. Is uh, Seth Lewis going to be your, uh, your Frank Sanders? Yeah, well – Whoever I guess will go up and catch it will be my next Frank, Frank Sanders. But um, going back to that, it's hard to replace a guy like Frank Sanders. But whoever wants to do it, they um, – you know, all, all to it. How much faster are you than your dad? A lot faster. <laughs> a lot faster. Was there a time during a specific moment during fall camp where you felt like you really had the advantage of this competition and just had confidence that you were going to win? Uh. Not really. I guess the most confident I was was when Coach Malzahn told me. And so um, I, I, we both had a really good, really good camp, and we both played well. Um, the offense was productive when we were both in there. Um, but I was just grateful that he, he did tell me. And um, I knew I had a good camp, so I knew that was a possibility. Um, but like I said, it was up to the coaches. Uh, I was prepared, yes, sir. I was going to do whatever I had to do um, for the team. If I had to take a step back, I was going to take a step back. Um, God has a plan for everything, and I truly believe that. And so whatever he wanted, it was going to happen, and I'm just fortunate to be in this position. How cool is it to get to open college out of Jerry World against Oregon in a nationally televised game? Um, I guess it's as good as you can write up. But uh, college game day for freshmen walking in is your first game. Um, some some people look, view that as tough, but I kind of see it as fun just because it's kind of what you prepare for. It's, um, I mean, why else would you play if you can't um, play at the highest um, atmosphere, environment, and all that stuff? So it'll be fun, and um, we'll be ready to go. You mentioned your speed compared to your dad. How does the rest of your game compare to his? Uh, we're very similar. Um, he was very smart, um, and he knew where to go to the, with the ball, and um, he understood the game as about as well as anybody um, coming from a, a high school coach like like his dad was, so we were in the same boat as far as that. I can move around a little bit better. Uh, I get that from my mom. But um, overall, I just, um, like I said, I didn't watch a whole lot of him, um, so it's hard to compare. The game's so much different. Um, but I get a lot of what I do from him, i got to admit. Are you ready to be the face of a program and have everybody talking about you and walking to class, getting bothered and, autographs and all that and have you talked to your dad and family about that how to handle it well you know like I said growing up my dad always said uh, so everyone's always watching no matter where you go no matter what you're doing somebody's watching and um, making the decision uh, when I actually started getting recruited uh, he my dad did my mom and dad both harped on me it was like um, you know it's it's a big thing to be a quarterback at a big school and so I, I'm ready and I I know what it brings and um, like I said my dad um, and mom both went through it, so um, they have done a good job raising me and teaching me how to handle these situations.